Hello and welcome back to Hadrosid Info. In this video, I will show you how to customize buttons on Logitech MX Master 4 using Options Plus. Let's begin! So, as you can see, I'm currently connected to my mouse with my PC and I have the Logi Options Plus software. If you don't know how to install it, you can always watch our install dedicated software tutorial. Anyway, we can now freely move around our little application and really all you want to do is simply go into here and then the very first section is called buttons and in here we can see the list of every single button that we have on our device so we have the middle button we have the shift wheel mode we have the horizontal scroll and also the back buttons which are the back forward gestures and show actions ring so as you can see there are many different options and what's really cool is that we can almost customize every single one of them for example do you want to change middle button for some reason sure you can for example go to task view for gestures or keyboard shortcuts so every time you use it or click it you will have a different shortcut which is very very funny for example i will go into the windows shift s which is the universal with it, oh, sorry for the chair creaking which is the universal screenshot on the windows at least for the performing screenshot so now every time i will press my mouse wheel here I have ability to perform a, a screenshot. Now, actually, I'm not sure if this is recordable, if this is visible for uh, for the recording. But I did indeed <laughs> make a make a shortcut. Now I will switch it back to the middle button because middle button is widely used in many different softwares. So I'm not going to change that. However, we can change, for example, the switching from the shift wheel mode because many people aren't really using it anyway so here we have some very recommend options we also have some AI actions like prompt builder or just an uh, ability to open chat gpt we also have smart actions but i'm not going to dive too deep into them because well this is very very deep topic and also need to be logged into the logic account in order to actually use them and we also have many different other actions for example we can go into advanced click we can go to increasing the brightness even we can do something stupid as enabling calculator seriously every time i click this button the calculator application should open and it's right here like we can just click that and we have many different calculators which is very very funny i will now um, try to delete every one of those but i believe that we can go into the scroll now or for example the horizontal scroll and i'm not sure if we can actually click it because there was ability for us to uh, perform a click so we could essentially do an auto clicker via this but i don't really see this option but yeah anyway i will try to um, get rid of every single calculator we have here just so we can live freely but of course continuing we have some other abilities like changing the pointer speed which is very useful especially if you're playing games you probably want to change it to the horizontal scroll option we can go into different desktop, we can go into dictation, we can just do nothing. So if you don't like uh, this shortcut and you don't want to do some random stuff, you can always just set it to nothing. We can go into emoji menu, input language, we can lock it, we can maximize or minimize the window, we can go into new browser tab, we can open some application. Seriously, we can just browse applications, we can enable some application and it's <laughs> that's literally it we can open, open a certain folder we can just paste we can play and pause i would believe this is very very nice we can like print screen which is the shortcut for i believe this is the fancier shortcut for windows or i'm just yeah we can now press it and we can go to paint and we should be able to have this in our uh we have we would have the ability to paste it we can redo something, we can go into right control, which is pretty interesting, we can switch application, we can go into this PC, which I believe will just open this. So yeah, that, that's that's pretty pretty funny. And lastly we have the simple volume down, volume up, zoom in and zoom out. 
Now I will go back to the shift wheel mode because this is what it is set by default. But please note that you can actually set it as almost everything. So the forward here is also we can also set everything we just saw to the forward button. The same thing can be happen not in horizontal scroll because horizontal scroll is a little bit different. But in here we can go for example to the volume up and down, so we can set it up. And you will notice that whenever I will change the horizontal scroll, we can actually see the volume increasing or decreasing. And once again, I think that's just really, really cool. We can go into different keyboard shortcuts, we can navigate between tabs with this. We can brighten up or down the brightness, but I believe this does nothing on the windows. Yep, it does nothing, it only works on our laptops here. And once again, we can navigate between apps. Next, previous, there are many different options, but once again, I will leave the horizontal scroll all on. Now, it's something different for the gestures, but once again, but of course, if you want, you can just do the same thing for the gestures, uh, because by default, we have these shortcuts here for virtual desktops. So, for example, we can start pressing and holding the gestures button, and we can move right. And now we have changed our screen. We can move left and we have the very same uh, desktop. We can go into hold and move up to go to the start menu. And it, this is not really a button shortcut. I believe that I will also be recording the full tutorial for gestures only, which is very, very cool. But yeah, that's, that's, all, that's all for this video. As you can see, there are plenty of options for customizing. I didn't even start to mention the actions ring, but once again, with the actions ring, I will go through, um, through the action ring in a different tutorial. So if you want to learn more, you can always do that here. But anyway, that's, that's all for this video. Yeah, if you found it useful, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you.